The South American nation of Chile gained independence from Spain in 1818. It soon emerged as a stable but authoritarian republic. It defeated Peru and Bolivia in the War of the Pacific in 1879 to 83, expanding its territory in the north. A strong army was central to the nation's expansion and strength, and the Chileans gravitated towards another authoritarian regime half a world away in Europe, Bismarck's Prussia. The Chileans flirted with patterning their army on the French model, hiring a French military training team in 1858. But in 1881, Chile sent instructions to its legation in Berlin to find Prussian officers to retrain the army. In 1886, Captain Emil Körner, a Franco-Prussian War veteran and War Academy graduate, was hired, along with 36 other Prussian officers, to train Chilean officer cadets at the military academy. These Prussian officers redesigned the Chilean army into a German army. Using German weapons, general staff organization, and military doctrine, and of course German-style uniforms, parades, and even military music. This all lives on in the ceremonial parades performed by the Chileans today. For all intents and purposes, the army on parade is the old German Kaiser's army from the late 19th century. The military music used includes Prussia's Glory. Written in 1871 to celebrate Germany's victory over France. Also used is the Prussian Inspection March, composed by King Friedrich Wilhelm III of Prussia in 1820. This tune is still played during color presentations in the Bundeswehr as well in Germany. The German Pickelhaube spiked helmet is worn by the military school, the First Cavalry Regiment, and the First Artillery Regiment. With a white hairbrush of horsehair for officers and cadets, red orange for the parade band. The first pickle halbers appeared in Chilean service in 1900. The model 1867. They still carried the Imperial German eagle. The Colonel Director of the Academy and his staff are dressed in German Guards Dragoon Regiment uniforms. Today's pickle halbers carry a plate with the national coat of arms of Chile upon it. The academy cadets are dressed in uniforms of the 10th Grenadier Regiment, King Friedrich Wilhelm II. The rifle used is the Mauser Modelo 1895. The pickle halbers used in Chile were made in Austria until 2006, when the company went bust. They are now made in Eastern Europe with fittings sourced locally in Chile. This kind of parade would have been perfectly at home in Berlin in the late 19th century. The Stahlhelm, or the German helmet, is worn by the non-commissioned officers' school. It is a modified version of the Nazi-era M1935 steel helmet. The color and style of this uniform is directly modeled on the German Wehrmacht of the 1930s and 40s. It was also the uniform most closely associated with General Augusto Pinochet's dictatorship in Chile. Members of the First Artillery Regiment wear a distinctive pickle halber with a cannonball instead of a spike to indicate their branch of service. They are armed with a battery of 19th-century Krupp artillery guns. So, if you want to see the military traditions, uniforms, and music of Imperial Germany, don't go to Berlin, but visit Santiago in Chile on the 19th of September each year. I hope you've enjoyed this short film. If you have, please do subscribe and also share and support me on Patreon. Many thanks.